Hey, what's up guys, the Baldi Calendar here, bringing you guys another bombastic Counter-Strike Global Offensive video. Hope you guys will enjoy the video because this is one of my favorite maps of all time in any video game. Dust 2, this is an excellent map, and this was actually one very interesting game. I played this at night, and as you guys know, at night it's even more interesting to play video games just because you don't see any surroundings around you because it's very dark, and you you only focus on video games, so you just start to play a tiny bit better, so I... So I'm pretty sure this game was really good and we were actually dominating the enemy team in the whole match They didn't even take the lead for once and it was actually a very interesting game and I had great teammates on my team and yeah so just an epic game and at the start of the match I was actually the worst player of my team but at the end I somehow became the best so that's pretty cool as well let's just get right into the video in this commentary I just wanna let you guys know how did I get involved with the Counter Strike community how did I start playing Counter Strike Global Offensive and how I started playing Counter Strike in general so let's get right into the video I guess it's been almost a year or a little bit more than a year since I started playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Counter-Strike in general and since then it's been just amazing. Counter-Strike Global Offensive is definitely, if not my favorite, then definitely one of my favorite games of all time and it's definitely very competitive, very fun gameplay, not the best graphics though, graphics are decent but not the best but still I enjoy the game a lot, I've been playing it almost on daily basis and that's the game I played the most in 2013 so yeah that's pretty cool as well but anyway I just want to share my story with you guys how did I get involved with Counter-Strike community well back in the days when some rumors about the Counter-Strike Global Offensive just showed up I was like oh I could buy actually that game because a lot of my friends are playing Counter-Strike Source and 1.6 and they say the game is just amazing I just didn't want to play Source and 1.6 those times that's just because the graphics in those games didn't just were bad in my opinion, very bad. And those times I really didn't pay attention to the gameplay, I didn't didn't care how fun it is or whatnot. But I only played Call of Duty and I was like graphics geek. If the game had great graphics, I just had to try that game out. I just loved amazing graphics. Now things have changed a little bit. I love great gameplay now. But anyway, so back in the days um, when there were rumors about the Counter Strike Global Offensive, a lot of my friends were playing 1.6 and Source and they were saying that I should also try 1.6 or Source just because uh, that those games are awesome. If I would try those games then I would never go back to Call of Duty and I was like no 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 I won't play those games the graphics suck up in this bitch and stuff like that but actually my biggest complaint about the Counter-Strike Source and 1.6 was that you can't aim down sights. I just couldn't imagine playing a game where you can't aim down sights with most weapons. I thought that would be just completely ridiculous I just couldn't imagine playing like, like that. I thought that would be just incredibly unrealistic I just didn't know how is it to play a game without aiming down the sights. I, I thought that would be just awful, but it finds out it wasn't. Well, basically, when there were videos showing up with Counter Strike Global Offensive beta on YouTube, I thought, hmm, graphics are definitely worse than in Call of Duty, but they aren't as bad as in Source and 1.6. I might actually try this game out. But I was trying to get the access to beta, but I actually got it in the August when I pre-ordered the game, but I couldn't get it faster. I was searching for it, but I just wasn't able to get it. But eventually, after watching a couple of YouTube videos of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, I thought the game doesn't look all that bad. Um, I definitely didn't pay attention to the gameplay, I only paid attention to the graphics again, what's kinda sad, but before I actually played Counter-Strike I didn't know what good gameplay is, what amazing gameplay is. Don't get me wrong, I don't think Call of Duty gameplay sucks. But at least in my opinion, Counter-Strike has better gameplay. Once again, that's only my opinion and you guys may have different opinions and I do respect them. But anyway, let's move on with my story. When the release date of Counter-Strike Global Offensive came closer, I was losing the excitement for the game. I just didn't believe anymore that the game would be something phenomenal, something great that would outperform Call of Duty, that would outperform Battlefield. I just didn't, I just didn't believe it. But Actually my dad agreed to pre-order the game for me because he actually wanted to see what it's gonna be like because he knew that Half-Life is a great game and Half-Life is made by Valve and it's a legendary game so he respects Valve for that so he decided that Counter-Strike Global Offensive may be an awesome game as well so eventually he pre-ordered the game for me and I was like really happy for that but the game actually wasn't that expensive compared to Call of Duty games it was really cheap I don't remember the exact price but I guess it was around 10 euros and I really thought that was cheap compared to Call of Duty's 
and uh, because it was cheap I didn't expect much from the game I was really excited for the upcoming Call of Duty but I wasn't that much excited for Counter-Strike I, I, I thought that would be just a nice addition to play while the next Call of Duty game isn't released yet well I was actually very wrong well actually when you pre-ordered Counter-Strike Global Offensive just a few days before the release you had actually access to beta and so I downloaded the game officially and I started playing it the first I remember the first match I played it was on CS Italy map and it was just great I thought the gameplay is phenomenal but I didn't know much about the gameplay I didn't know what gameplay is good what gameplay is bad those times I didn't know what competitive gameplay is I just played the game and I enjoyed it the first game I played was on CS Italy as I said and I got the MVP I was the MVP in the second round I played of the game so that is just amazing not everyone could do that but I had some skill from Call of Duty I had some experience from other FPS games so I wasn't completely bad I wasn't a complete newbie in this game but I was I, I could kill some people in in classic casual now I'm just like a very good player in classic competitive I come in first um, like every second game I play so that's pretty cool as well but Counter Strike isn't an easy game I and mean, even in classic casual it was hard for me to play I wasn't going positive most of the time I was going negative I was like five kills and ten deaths like every round sometimes better sometimes worse but the fact stays fact, I wasn't a good player, but I also wasn't a completely bad player. So, after a year of practice, I'm still not a professional in this game. And uh, I have won only 70 competitive matches, and on average I get like 20 kills and 10 deaths. Sometimes worse, sometimes better, but that's the average, squ average score for me in a usual classic competitive game and that's after a year of practice if you would practice playing Call of Duty for a year almost on a daily basis you would do so much better than that in my opinion it just proves that Call of Duty is so much easier than Counter-Strike it has always been and I think it will always be but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video it was a pretty long video I guess around 8 minutes and Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to give this video a like. I hope you now know how I got involved with CS community, how I started playing Counter-Strike, and all that good stuff. And uh, now I'm like a hardcore Counter-Strike player, I'm not a complete professional, but I love playing the game, still play it almost on a daily basis, and I really enjoy it. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it, hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give this video a like, share this video with your friends, if your friends enjoy Counter-Strike. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Subscribe to my channel for more amazing Counter-Strike and Call of Duty content. And I'll see you all later. Peace.